Who all remembers scripture chains from seminary? I do, and I loved being able to create a chain in my scriptures centered around a common theme. Well, the Gospel Library has that same powerful ability to create links between content. Today, I'll go over that powerful tool. Just to help you understand links a little better, if you think of your scriptures and open them up, you would see footnotes everywhere. For example, right here, I'm going to click on I, and it shows you references in the footnotes to other scriptures, cross-references, right? Links are much the same way, except for links are cross-references to locations that you choose. Whereas footnotes, these are already chosen and are in the scriptures right now. Links are custom cross-references chosen by you. So let's go ahead and show you how to create links. As always, be sure you're logged into the app for these features to work correctly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some scriptures that are linked based on the topic charity. To start with, I'm here in the talk Peacemakers Needed by President Nelson from April 2023. And I have this quote here on charity that I really like. So I'm going to select it. That whole section right there. And then I'm going to click on link because I want to link this to other scriptures and content that are about charity. So the first one that I want to do is I know there's a scripture about charity, that charity is the pure love of Christ. So I'm going to search for charity is the pure love. And I'm going to come over here and make it an exact phrase. And... I'm going to come to collections and I want it to be in the scriptures. And you can see it's pulled up right here in Moroni chapter 7. Now one's downside to using the search when you're trying to link scriptures is it doesn't tell you exactly where that is. So you kind of have to scroll to find it. I happen to know this is in verse 47. So I'll scroll down to verse 47 and I'll just click on that verse. And you can see this blue box that's now around this verse. I'm going to come up here and click add. And what that's done is now you can see Moroni 747 is going to be linked with this quote that President Nelson gave. I also want to add another link because you can have several links. I'm going to come down here to topics and go down to charity right here. And I just want this general topic to be linked with that quote by President Nelson. And it'll also link with Moroni chapter seven, verse 47. So I'll click on charity right there and I'll click add. And so now you can see charity and Moroni 747. I could continue to either search for more links or go through the content here and go directly to locations that I want to link. Or I can come down here and go to my history and you can see it shows Moroni seven there or if there are other places in the history that I want to link to, I could get a link that way. In addition, in my bookmarks, maybe there's a bookmark that I have about charity that I want to link to that. I could do that there. Or maybe I have another screen open that I can open up and go to to find a link there. So there are several ways that you can find your links. So once you have your links, you just come up here and click save. And you'll notice that up here, to the right of the verse is a picture of kind of a chain right there representing links. When I click on that, it shows the two things that I have linked. And the really cool part is if I go, for example, over here to Moroni chapter 7 verse 47, the cool part is here now that I'm in Moroni chapter 7 verse 47, if I click on this link icon right here, look at that. It just pulled up that peacemakers needed quote that I had linked to earlier. And the same would be if I go back here and click on charity, then up here it will show that quote by President Nelson on charity. If you wanted to add to a link, you can just go ahead and click on that same highlighted area again and then click on link and it'll show your same links here and you can continue to add. In addition, if you wanted to take away a link, you could just click the X button right there and that would do that. Okay, that's it for links. If you learned something new, I invite you to go show a friend what you've learned. And be sure to like and subscribe below so you don't miss out on future videos.